such a beautiful place here. So many plants and roots here. Huh, this is really special. I wonder where I am. Ah, ah, oh my god, what is this? What is this? Oh my god. I'm the snake. And I live here in the jungle. Oh, okay. Hi, Mr. Snake. And are you a friendly snake? No. Dora, Dora, help me. There's an unfriendly snake sitting in my neck. Help me. Oh, hi, Alex. What are you doing here with us in the jungle? Wow, I sneaked in your suitcase. Ah, oh, that's why it was so heavy. Now I know. Okay, well, good that you didn't get caught up on security. I'm happy you're here with us. Mm -hmm. But Dora, there's a snake in my neck. Look, oh, that's okay, don't worry. Alex, I think we should learn what we need to do if we're in the jungle. The three golden rules of being in the jungle, okay? But first of all, let's calm down first a bit, okay? Let's take some deep breaths. Okay, good, I'm all ready for that. Oh, hi kids, it's Dora and Alex from Pop Kids Yoga, and today, we're in the jungle and we can't wait to show you what you need to know and do when you're in the jungle by accident or on a trip there with your parents. So let's take a look, but first let's help Alex calm down a bit. Yeah, I need to calm down. Okay, so kids come in an easy cross-legged pretzel position here. Cross your legs in front of you. Sit with a straight back and let's take three deep breaths together, okay? Straight back, shoulders down, and breathe in. Long breath in, and out. If you want, you can even close your eyes, okay? Deep breath in. And our last, even longer breath in and out. felt nice, didn't it? Yes, I'm already feeling much more relaxed. So Dora, can you show us what else we need to do in the jungle? Of course, Alex. So kids, whenever you're in the jungle, you can recognize the jungle because usually there are a lot of plants and trees and you hear a lot of animal sounds around you, but you always need to look around carefully, okay? And to look around carefully, you come in a cross-legged position and we're gonna twist. Okay, that's very important that we twist and look at the floor to see if there's anyone maybe below our feet, behind us, in front of us. So take your right hand and take it to your opposite knee and take your left hand and with a big circle, put it down behind your bottom on the floor and using the strength of your arms, try to twist yourself so you can see what's behind you. Look behind you, try to see the mountains and the grass behind us, and take two deep breaths here. In the meantime, always try to use your arms to twist further. Deep breath in, straight back and breath out, twist. Breath in, long straight back, breath out, very good. Come back to center. And we also need to look around on the other side. So now take your left hand, put it to your opposite knee, which is your right knee, and take your right hand and with a big circling motion, put it down behind you on the floor. And again, use the power in your arms to deepen your twist so you can see everything behind you. I'm not gonna miss any little creepy crawly insect here nor a very tiny cute worm okay and again here we breathe in deep breath in and out deep breath in try to twist deeper long straight back and out very nice now come back to center now we know what's behind us but what's in front of us let's take a look stay as you are and just start walking with your hands forward. Yep, I'm gonna look 
in front of me. That's very important to make sure I don't step on anyone. Exactly, Alex. So walk your hands forward and try to put your head on your mat. Your forehead can reach the mat. It's also okay if you're like this, but take a close look at what's in front of you on the jungle floor. I see some ants. I see some jungle cockroaches, some colorful worms, and just stay here and breathe. Observe your jungle floor, your mat. Imagine there are a lot of colorful insects there, plants, and it smells really nice. A fresh jungle rain, water, plants, and take a deep breath in and out and reach further ahead. Try to peek even further away. Is there anyone here in front of me? No? Okay, last breath in and with this breath in, you come back to sitting and your back is straight again. Amazing, very good kids. Well done, Alex. Thanks, Dora. And what about this snake? Ah, yes, of course, the snake. So kids, sometimes it's helpful if you want to understand certain animals if you try to become one of them. So to become a snake, you come flat on your belly and your snake legs are straight behind you. You're one straight line and your hands are underneath your shoulders and your elbows are stuck to the side of your body, okay? And when we're gonna take a deep breath in, we're gonna lift our heads, okay? You can use your arms a little bit to help push you up. I'm a very beautiful, colorful snake. Use your muscles in your back to keep your upper body lifted. Take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, become a snake. Lower all the way down. One more time, breath in, snake up. Use your back muscles, keep your elbows beside your body. Shoulders are pushed back. Try to push them back and away from your ears. Up, 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 and breath in, and snake. I'm gonna look around as a snake. Wow, it's pretty tiring to be a snake. Sometimes you need a lot of muscles in your back. Okay, let's rest in a little bit. Just put your arms down beside you. Bring your ear to your mat. And just close your eyes. And imagine your long snake gliding on the floor of your own jungle. Take two breaths here. <gasps> With your breath in, come back to the middle and using your arms, push yourself up into an easy, comfortable sitting position. And now we know what it's like to be a snake. Yes, I'm very happy. Thank you, Dora. Thank you, Dora, for explaining to Alex. You're welcome, Mr. Snake. Dora, can I take the snake home? No, Alex, you can't take the snake home. The snake lives in the jungle and that's his natural habitat, okay? So we don't take the snake home. Oh, too bad. Okay, come Alex, come sit here with me. So kids, I hope you enjoyed our jungle adventure today and we're very happy that you were here with us. We hope to see you also next time here on our Pop Kids Yoga YouTube channel and let us know if you have any special adventure you would like to have with us. Just comment in the section below and you can always ask any of your grown-up friends to subscribe to our channel. Just hit the big red button below this video. Right there. Yep, it's right there. Okay kids, thanks for being with us. See you next time. Bye!